Hello everyone, Dr. Victoria Scarbo here, speaking to you from the Caesar Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, it's time for taroscopes again. I'm going to be doing the taroscope of the sign of Aries uh, for the month of July 2022. <laughs> Don't get nervous. We're not doing 2020 over again. Um, this is for Aries, Aries Sun, Aries Moon. Aries rising, and everybody else, because Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, and so very often um, I find that the Aries reading is very much uh, a reading of the moment, in a way. So before we get to the reading, I'm going to be using the Wildwood Tarot, yep, the Wildwood Tarot, and I'm going to be using the Celtic animal oracle as an oracle. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the astrology of the month. Uh, now, of course, Aries is a Mars rule sign, so Mars starts the month in Aries, but quickly moves into Taurus on the 5th. Um, that mo Mars moving into Taurus slows things down for you, Aries. You just take things uh, one step at a time. Um, and you're not particularly thrilled with that generally, but it's been such an active time. I think even the Aries will appreciate a bit of a rest. I know I certainly will. And uh, my husband, who is an Aries, uh, could use a little rest right about now. <laughs> um, we do have opposition to uh, the Sun and Pluto. Um, because this, the Pluto is in Capricorn when the Sun is in... Um, um, I think that was a Um, when the sun is in, uh, cancer and also Mercury is going to be in cancer, uh, within two days of each other, I believe it's the, um, let's see, I, I did have it written down. I seem to have lost my note. Um, it's the problem with these little sticky notes. I'm always, I, I make them and then I lose them. Um, 18th and 19th, I think, or, or 17th and 18th. We have um, we have the opposition. Um, Sun Pluto oppositions are awareness around power, and for you guys, um, it is in your house of um, authority. Um, the Sun in Cancer being in fourth house of um, of a personal sort of emotional sensibilities and security you know, knowing your own, knowing your own feelings, and then Pluto in that house of uh, uh, public standing. Of course, Pluto has been moving through that house of public standing now for years, uh, since 2008, and so that 10th house for you has been very active, and your public standing, the way people see you, the way people experience you, has been going through this constant state of transformation. Um, and so, to, in the middle of July, uh, we will see some awareness around that, both uh, on a mental level and an actual physical level. Um, so, but generally, um, not a bad month. Um, not a bad month. We do have a new moon, um, actually at the end of, um, we had a moon, a new moon at the end of, of June that was in cancer that is your fourth house um so it's about a new relationship with your feelings perhaps and uh, it's a very powerful new moon and um uh, which i i'll be talking to ona about at on moon shadows which um is likely to come out for this reading so if you haven't checked it out check it out all right, so let's take a look and see what the cards have to say for Aries for the month of July. Okay. Of course, Mars, I believe, may, might actually make a conjunction to Eris as we start the month. Or close, or the end, the end of of June, the beginning of July. So there is that sort of revolutionary. I'm not going to take it anymore. Kind of energy out there, which of course uh, 
it's an energy <laughs> that you guys live by anyway. I'm not taking it anymore. I'm not taking it, period, anymore, any less. <laughs> All right, we have the Knight of Stones here, the jackass. Actually, I think this is supposed to be a horse, but it kind of looks like, well, it's, I think he's a wild horse, actually, which is kind of a combination between a horse and like a donkey, right? That energy, you know, kind of rough and ready. Um, but it is the Knight of Stones, and, this, and stones or pentacles tend to be um generally they're just sort of waiting to see what happens right that energy is is the work has been done and now it's time to wait for the uh, crop to come up to see um to, to to guard your crop to guard uh what you have what you've worked for actually um in this deck the horse is moving so it's a little bit more of an active energy this is really sort of acting on your values. It is a it is a, a card associated to a certain extent with the energy of Taurus. Um, and so it is about, um, you know, you're working hard, you're, you're in your place, you're doing your thing, you're, you're, you're doing um, what you need to do to move your life forward. Right. And albeit uh, slowly and it will and it will slow down again as Mars moves into Taurus. Um, what's crossing it is the um, the world card, the world tree card, which I just love this card in this deck. It's so beautiful. It's got all the four seasons on it. It's got the labyrinth. Right. Um, it's really about moving forward in a in a uh, a way in which it's thought it's thoughtful and it's you know Aries can sometimes just rush into things um this isn't that energy that this isn't that energy this month especially probably because Mars is in Taurus slows you down a bit which is good because there's a lot of things changing we're at a we're at a point where there are things that need to come to fruition and there are things that need to restart and so I the challenge is to uh continue to sort of move forward in that more methodical way despite the changes and the challenges that that surround you so even if things are ending that you don't want to end um, you still have to put one foot in front of the other uh, maybe it's not a personal thing maybe it's just the world changing around you um, put your foot one foot in front of the other let's see what's at the root of this uh, we have the ten of arrows which is um, you know often um, the ten of um, the ten of swords, right? In other decks, uh, is a pretty negative card. But here, it's about instruction. It's about instruction. So there is this energy of having to listen to um, maybe an, um, people who know more than you do about a certain situation or about a certain um, whatever it is that you don't know. This is a good time for you to look to people who do know to get the information that you need. You can't be all things to all people and you can't be all things to yourself. Although Aries has a tendency to be somewhat of a self-cleaning oven. It doesn't really occur to them sometimes to even ask for help because they figure, well, I'll just do it, right? So um, there is a need for some instruction here there is a need for some advice from somebody who whatever it is that you want to you're trying to do you know maybe it's accounting maybe it's an accountant maybe you need a good accountant maybe you need a new, good lawyer maybe you need a good exercise coach maybe you need a good diet uh, um, nutritionist right you need somebody who's going to help to guide you and and point your arrow in the direction that's going to be most beneficial for you because you've been at a stalemate, you feel like you have been um, sort of stuck in a place, unable to move. Um, part of that is the realization of two sides of things that 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 came up for you or came up for us. We, the the need to to see two sides of things, and in this deck, this card does have this sort of sensibility about around justice. So this is um, a sense of waiting for justice to happen right and so you want to act but you do need some instruction on that action we have the king of um stones here wolf in the sky this is the 
the king of pentacles as it were in this deck the wolf is the leader it is uh, can be the lone wolf it is about um having your voice heard or having your howl heard i guess <laughs> aries you probably do both um the the wolf is a teacher again there's this energy of teacher teacher and this could be you being the teacher and so what this bottom card could indicate is the best way to get what you have to say out there um you're going to need a little help directing the arrow okay let's see your immediate future we have the uh the tower the tower is disruption so we're all going to have some sort of disruption remember i said aries is the is the reading for everybody um the tower is about the coming down of facades that um, we no longer need. Ways of being, um, w really much, m mostly ways of being. Um, because ways of thinking, maybe. Ways of responding and reacting. Ways of getting your, um, your needs met. Okay. Um, this is an opportunity for us to remember who we are, to remember the magnificence of the spirit that lies within and that we are co-creative with the universe. How it's seen from the outside, we have the 10 of pentacles. So you're seen as um, stable, um, resourceful, having resources. This is home, this is safety. Um, it can be some money from inheritance, but it is how people see you. So people see you as relatively lucky and prosperous, I would say. Um, we have the, the five of cups in the domestic situation. I feel like there is a loss that you're going to have to deal with. The five of cups is really about mourning, mourning the loss and then moving on. Um, so there is going to be perhaps some emotional upsetment happening this month for you. Hopes and fears is the king of um, vessels, the heron. This is the king of cups. The heron is patient. The heron is very, very still. So this is a, an energy of uh, knowing when your opportunities are there for you. So if you're worried that the opportunity is not going to come around, the opportunity is coming around. In fact, I almost feel like the tower is the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, price of admission. We have the four of stones as the outcome. It's the protection card. And so you are safe despite the fact that we have all this tower stuff happening. Now, the tower does not have to be a personal experience. The tower can be um, the whole uh, January 6th thing, right? I mean, that's, a, that's kind of a tower moment for a certain person who has the tower as a soul vibration. We will not mention. He whose name should, shall not be uttered. <laughs> Um, but in its, in its, in its nature, it, it does create a lot of havoc, right? It does create a lot of havoc. So I'm going to pick three cards, see if I can get a major arcana. We get the two of cups, which is lovely. That's love. The eight of vessels. This is about, um, putting your energy where it's most likely to fulfill your, your own soul. Sometimes you have to turn your back on things that you have, worked on for a long time because they're just not doing it for you. It's just not, it's just not working. And then the five of, of cups of vessels here, which is called ecstasy. Ecstasy. The morning of the, um, this is actually the seven of cups. The morning in the domestic situation is maybe the loss of a dream. There might be some dream that you had. So no, no major arcana came up. Um, and we'll see, okay, we'll see what comes up underneath. We have the page, the page of arrows. This is the wren. 
that was the the, the uh, bird I think that you heard when we first started. It was really loud. That was the wren. The wren is small but mighty. Small but mighty. All right. Okay. So, so we have the wren here, which is about speaking up, speaking your mind. Um, if there is something that you don't longer want to do, don't feel guilty about stepping away from it. And the five of vessels speaks of, uh, ecstasy and change. Celebrate the change that you're going through. All right, let's pull a Druid or a uh, Druid animal oracle and see what the animal oracle has to say for Aries for the month of July. Whew. Boy, it is getting muggy out there. Goodness gracious. All right. And we have da -da -da -dum, the cow. Holy cow. All right, let's see what the cow says. Of course, the cow is Taurus. Mars is in Taurus for you. Uh, so take it slow this, this, um, take it slow this year, this month. Take it slow, one step at a time. There's no rush. All right, let me find cow here. Cow bow. Nourishment, motherhood, and the goddess. 118. All right. It says, Bo opens us to an awareness of the goddess. Her generosity, healing, and nourishing power is present all around you, in your friends and children, in your food and drink, in your dreams, and particularly in the natural world that you are blessed to live in. She brings protection from all harmful influences by attuning her presence to you. A uh, presence you can gain the unestimable <laughs> benefit of deep and peaceful sleep by opening yourself up to Bo and her sacred quality. Oh, let me put, let me just do this, right? So you can see it. Um, by opening up to Bo and her sacred quality as a manifestation of the goddess on earth, you will be connecting to the perpetual stream of nourishing energy that flows from the goddess to each of to each one of us to experience this there is nothing you need to do so you just need to be which you Aries are really good at because that's really what Aries is all about being Aries living opening up all right well hopefully you find that helpful uh, please like and subscribe if you would like a reading with me, you can reach me on my website, thesiegeoftransformation.com. There is a link below in the descriptor. Until I see you next month uh, for August Taroscopes, uh, have a wonderful month. Take it slow. Uh, everything, everything is going to be all right. Take care, everyone. Namaste.